Okay, uh, our goal with the uh, scenario-based training today is to really just give uh, the participants an opportunity to walk in our shoes, you know, for uh, lack of a better word. Uh, so we like to present scenarios. Uh, one involves a suspect armed with a knife, and we like to show how quickly um, a suspect armed with an edge weapon can close ground on an officer and how quickly these things can develop. And it, it really illustrates for the participants how you have to make split second decisions sometimes in just a fraction of a second. Um, and we also have a scenario where we have an uncooperative suspect who is not showing his hands, but then when he does show his hands, he produces a cell phone, which uh, we've seen over doing this over a matter of years now. Uh, the officers, our students, or however you want to call them, uh, consistently mistake that cell phone for a weapon. And as was illustrated again today by I think all of the groups but one, uh, they went ahead and they shot that suspect who was only holding a cell phone because they perceived it as a weapon. So we kind of just try to, to run them through those scenarios so they can see how quickly things develop, how quickly things can go south, and how quickly they can make decisions. Um, decisions that will be picked apart and examined for the next six months they had to make in a fraction of a second. So that's really the whole goal of the scenario-based stuff we did today.